Let's find out. I hope you like the video. If you do, please do like it. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. It helps an awful lot. Thank you so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So what do you think? Do you think um, Kate's uh, maybe already has a bun in the oven, or... Is there are there plans for more let's find out so is it going to be an addition to the royal collection we have three will there be four we've got George we have Charlotte we have Louis let's see the difference in ages now because that may be an indication as to if they were gonna have another child do they have a pattern to how, how often they have a child uh, Prince George is eight uh, Charlotte is six so that's two years in between now Louis is three so that's three years between Charlotte and Louis so it doesn't seem to be a pattern right there, but then again, Catherine, I think, is 39, so she's coming to, you know, the time when you want to make sure if you're going to have another child, you do it soon. Uh, let's ask the cards. Is, uh, are, the, are, are William and Kate planning another, or is there already a bun in the oven? So this is the Revival Art Tarot by Turaco. Turaco or Turacho? I'm not sure, Studios. Uh, this is a deck that comes to me somehow, I think, from Russia via Norway. But um, they're beautiful cards. They were a little pricey, and um, but I love to use them. They're lots of art. The guidebook that comes with them, Revival Art Guidebook, is um, you know leaves a lot to be desired. You, know, you can't really read it. It's tiny, tiny print. But on the uh, upside, there's nothing in here that's particularly um, earth shattering as far as how to use the cards for divination. So you know, no loss. But it's a bad. Uh, guidebook however the cards are just amazing and uh, the art goes right to the edge on these cards they're really beautiful and I love using them and uh, you know I do this to sort of sort of mix up the cards and give folks who don't uh, purchase tarot cards or look at uh, full decks of tarot cards very often the chance to see you know more of what the deck looks like otherwise you just kind of see the first few uh, the first, only the cards that are uh, dealt or they are turned over. So there you go. Uh, that's this uh, Toracho Revival Art Studio uh, deck, and I think they're beautiful, and I love using them. Um, they're pretty, pretty cool. So I'm curious, aren't you? Oh, look at that! The first card I on the bottom of the deck is the empress with a bunch of babies. I mean, that's interesting. It doesn't mean it's indicative of a thing in the world, but it is very interesting. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five. Huh. So, um, interesting that that card would be right there. And I chose these cards right at the last minute. I mean, sometimes I actually decide what deck I'm going to use the uh, previous uh, evening. Uh, and then I try to record these uh, before noon the next day. Sometimes it goes into the afternoon. But uh, so there's um, uh, George eight, Charlotte six, uh, Louis three, Catherine is thirty nine. Doesn't matter how old William is, I guess. So will there be an addition to the royal collection? Okay. Uh, or let's ask first. Well, let's say okay. We'll do first. Will there be an addition to the royal collection? And then uh, is she already pregnant or planning? Will there be an addition? And that's just up to fate. That's not saying that there's any um, plan on the part of the two. Um, but so will there be an addition to the Royal Collection? And uh, will, um, or is she, already, is she already pregnant? Interesting. Interesting. Let's uh, take six cards right off the top for that. So will there be an addition? One. Two, three, four, 
five and six. I'm trying to be um, a little more cognizant of the art that's on the cards and really pay attention to it because sometimes when I look at a video uh, after I've posted it, um, uh, I see uh, little clues that I could have spoken to uh, in the cards. So we'll find out um, if um, there's going to be an addition to the Royal Collection. Okay, The signifier card for that is um, the Knight of Cups. So that doesn't seem to speak to that issue at any, in any way. So the Knight of Cups. So Cups are compassion. There is that. Uh, that's an emotional, compassionate issue. And the Knight is usually the defender of the crown and perhaps bringing some compassion uh, into the picture. So, and if it's a knight, he's going to have, he's going to accomplish this. So the signified card of whether there's going to be more added to this royal collection is the Knight of Cups, Knight of Compassion. Um, the challenge to that then is the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is typically, just like it shows right here, really having to walk away from something that you, uh, that, that is val emotionally valuable to you. So this this is the first indicator then that we have that maybe there won't be. There wa it's walking away from that question. And um, so we have a mother and a father, and we have, it looks like a son, and the bidding and farewell. So that's very interesting. The challenge to this knight of compassion is this um, eight of cups walking away from some sort of emotional value. The base of the reading for that question, okay, now this is the ace of wands. And so it's interesting because ones are planning uh, a forward movement, and the ace is a great big offer of that. So I don't know. So could this mean that uh, maybe there's been some, some idea uh, around that issue? The past of this reading, will there be an addition, is the king of coin. Okay, so the king, I'm going to say this has to be uh, William in this case, is really considering his value. And, um, and so that is the issue there the king of coin also remember the more uh, children that are involved and the more from the royal purse eventually as they become young people and adults and as we see now the scramble between uh, charles to reduce the monarchy um and the conflict that that causes so the king of coin is the king considering his value the sky of this reading then is the uh, six of coins uh, going back to the way things were, bringing things back to the way they were. And in this this card, we show um, the uh, the compassion that a child has for their, uh, this could be Charles, that a child has for uh, their elder. So a little interesting, but not really particularly telling uh, for this question. So will there be an addition to the Royal Collection? And of course, we're talking about William and Kate. And uh, the answer to this is a okay so this is the nine of wands and the knight of wands is embattled okay he's tired and i'm gonna say that this really more leans to me towards no we've got enough we've, we're dealing with the ones that we have and this is probably where we're going to stop <coughs> but um let's see if perhaps by chance and uh, maybe she doesn't know what it could have happened um last night you know let's see if uh, she is already pregnant. Uh, this indicates that there won't be any more additions, so that could mean an unfortunate pregnancy uh, where that doesn't come to term, or it could mean a surprise. So let's see. Will, is she already pregnant? And you know what's interesting is I spread these cards, it leaves me a big stack of extra cards here, and I think that means that we're not to use these cards. They're not going to be considered in this, in this uh, divination. So the self for this question of, is she even now uh, pregnant? Well, this knight of coins is going in the opposite direction. Okay, so I'm saying no. The value, this knight of coins is telling me that no. It's, uh, this is, hasn't happened, uh, that's, that's not in the picture. The uh, environment that that's in, however, is the seven of wands. Seven of wands is really having enough to deal with now. We can see that this uh, person is guarding this beautiful little lamb. And uh, so, yeah, I would say that probably uh, this is Catherine uh, protecting her little lambs that she has now, and that's plenty enough for her to deal with. In the sky of this reading, or the hopes and the fears, I should say, actually, is the Two of Cups. So we have the lovers here. So it's not that we have a lack of, comp of, of emotion, a lack of love on the part of those two. And then the final uh, uh, outcome for this uh, reading, then, is the sun. And, um, huh, so that's interesting. So the sun is enlightenment, 
uh, uh, bringing things into clear focus and uh, celebration. Um, so I still have to say that no, we're celebrating the children that are already here and, uh, and this isn't something that's going to come to pass. That's how I feel for that one. Quick and, and a short reading. So I just like to do these recaps in case there's something that I haven't noticed the first time around. So I'm going to go right through it um, and see what's happened. So we asked, um, you know, is it going to be an addition to the Royal Collection? And for that, we get this Knight of Cups. And so this is the Knight of Compassion and really didn't bring me an answer. It, it just almost ignored it. But then it did set up for, for a card that we get later, though. But the uh, challenge to that, then, is uh, leaving something of emotional value behind. So you know, we see this young man leaving his parents and... Um, so this kind of makes me think that, no, that's not going to happen. And then the base of the whole thing was the uh, Ace of Wands. And uh, the Ace of Wands is just a great big offer of value. And uh, this could be that we've got enough on our plate right now dealing with um, the new king who will eventually come in as uh, Queen Elizabeth goes out and uh, in preparation for William's uh, reign after that. Uh, the um, past to this reading is the King of Coins. Really, the King's really considering his value. For me, this is this is uh, William really taking everything into consideration. And then the sky of that reading is the uh, uh, Six of Coins, kind of remembering how things were. And for me, this is really wanting things to kind of stay in the status quo. Um, the likely outcome of the whole thing then. Uh, in that first part was this Nine of Wands. So the Knight, uh, the Nine of Wands is really embattled. They've got enough on their plate, it looks like. So I want to say, is there by chance a bun in the oven? And for that, we get the um, Knight of Coins and Knight of Compassion going in absolutely the opposite direction of the other Knight. So yeah, I'm going to say no. no. We're not going in that direction at all. And the environment that that's in is the Seven of Wands, which is really, you know, having enough to deal with. And uh, this uh, lovely woman has is, is cuddled her lamb up, uh, protecting against the dangers uh, that uh, be. And uh, so, yeah, I think they feel like their plate's full. The Two of Cups is uh, the next card for the hopes and the fears. And the Two of Cups is the lovers. And I think it's just to reinforce to us that, no, there's no lack of love here. There's no lack of, uh, of a bond between those two. Um, and the likely outcome is the uh, sun, which is just great big um, enlightenment uh, over the whole thing and I think their issue now is to make sure they get uh, uh, George ready for what eventually is going to come his way. What do you think? I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now.